Potato odd. Potato odd, uh, Megillah Sester, Pate Sadik. The bottom of the first column. Um, okay, the Altrebe quoted this whole thing that the connect is a connection between Purim and Matan Teira. By Matan Teira, he said Nasev and Ishma. Purim, they said Vikibla Yehudim. So he starts explaining the concept of Tachlis Chach Matshuva Maisim Tevin. And he says there's an advantage of Teira over Mitzvahs. There's an advantage of mitzvahs over teira. Here, the Alter Rebbe says, I'm going to explain the advantage of mitzvahs over teira. And he explains that mit teira arise mi chokhme nafka. Teira comes from the level of chokhme. And he explains there's a concept called ishtaushalus, right? Ishtaushalus here begins with chokhme. And ishtaushalus, one link goes into the next. So therefore, they're all interconnected. Teira comes from the level of chokhme. Therefore, Avram Avinu is a verma. He was a limb for the level of Chochma, right? But he wasn't. Meshe Rabbein, on the other hand, is higher than Chochma. Minamayim is Shisiu. So therefore, Meshe Rabbeinu was able to be bringing down the Teira, Mamsh Teira, which is the level of Chochma down here into the world. But now he says, that's all premius internalization. Mamalakol Mitzvahs, on the other hand, he says, that's uh, the level of Sevim Kolalmin. That's the level of Dilog. Okay, you know what? We're going to start four lines in the end of the first column on page Tzadik. Avala Hodes, from Shachas, Serin Tabach, Maisa, Mitzvahs, Kashmir, but the Alakus, that comes down into physical Mitzvahs. And Kruma, Maisa, is a level of Sevim Kolalmin, Shlei Betsei, Devad, Beder, Radrog, Vishtaushas, El Beder, Dilog. It doesn't come down in a way of Ishtaushus, which again, Mamalakam Pneumius, it comes down in a way, Medalik Alohorim, like it says, Kol Dedi Medalik Alohorim, why? Fishain Ahor Ahi. This Alukus that comes down to mitzvahs is not the Mamish Bedvarim Gashmim, Shebehem Nasa Mitzvah, like Chachma, which is Mulabish Bamidus, Umidus, Machshav, Machshav, and so on. Meaning like this. In Ishtaushus, he said, Seichel comes into Midas directly. Midas comes into Machshava Dibar Maisa directly. Here, Mitzvah is the level of garments, of Levushim, of Sevim Kol Almud. So, therefore, it doesn't come down in a pneumistic way of Elo, but all of cause and effect that one goes into the next. He says like this What does this mean? Kim Hai Sam Shachas Erin Sabr Seich Almud. If Erin Sof would come into the world with Abedar his Pashtis, this Lapshus, Bechinus, Mamalek Kol Almin, it say to Yishtaushus, Derech Ilaval, he said, like this, very simple. If the infinite level of Elokus could not come down in a pneumistic way, in a way of Mamalek Kol Almin, why? Because it's infinite. How can the infinite come into a finite Kaili? It just doesn't work. And he says, The Nevroim wouldn't have been able to be created. Yes, Meyayin. Um, they would be completely bottled in the Shtetz. Okay. Wouldn't be bottled in the Merkad Vesharsha. I feel his Sabbath, Prinus Chachme Ila, Lias Chakim Labor Chachme Yadia, even Chachme. It wouldn't be able to handle chokhmah the highest level. If it's infinite, it can't even come into chokhmah because chokhmah is also finite. Because, one second. I'll explain a second. Because it's called the level of chokhmah. ma. It is something that it has its own name. Meaning, yeah, chokhmah represents the level of bittel, but some chokhmah is something which is being bottled. In other words, like this, infinite cannot connect directly to finite. So it doesn't work. So he says, the infinite level of alokus that comes down through mitzvahs can't come down in a plenius. 
Taita, which is Chachma Seishal Hakadosh Baruch the level of Chachma Tzitzurdi, the level of Pnimiyas Seichel. So therefore, it can come into the Yid in the Pnimiyas Nikuway and Seichel and Tamidus and Tamachshava Dibur Maisa. That functions, but if you're talking about infinite Alukus, infinite Alukus cannot come into limited form. And he says even Chachma, which is the highest of all the levels, is also limited. It's still called Chachma. It's limited. Being yeah, the level of infinite mitzvahs. He says it can't come because if he, it would come, it wouldn't be yesh It would be completely bittel. And he says even chachmi law, which is called chakim v'loyb chachmi yadir. It's the highest level of all the svidus. Mikama kemiacha shenik b'shem chachma aru dvar ma. It's something acha ele b'shem b'fneat. It has a separate name. We learned many times in Chassidus. Higher than Atzilus, basically there's no Sviris. It's infinite. Once it comes into Olam, once it comes into worlds, into ten levels, granted, Atzilus is. Bleakvul chachma, bleakvul gvorit, bleakvul chesig gvorit. It's all bleakvul, but it's still chachma bein adas ches. It's still ten distinct levels. So the real infinite cannot be revealed in a finite keli. It just mathematically doesn't work. So therefore, it can't come in in a panemius like Teda does. Therefore, it can only come in in a makif level, because if it would internalize infinite in a finite keli. It wouldn't be finite. It would be completely bottled down the coast. My kid is still within the tense field? Yeah. Is no, it's above it. Above. And he says, <laughs> It can't be infinite. By definition, earning tough means infinite. Infinite cannot come into a finite vessel. So, so somebody who does the slowly, slowly. It's only included in the source. Like say midas, the way they still are in seichel, meaning like this. Midas know the v'nesavim is seichel milidam. Midas come from seichel, based on the seichel of the midas, like we learned many times. Ubevaday hayuklulim b'seichel tchilukayin mishin know them. It's like a mosh of a baby before it's born. It's still within the mother. It's just not a baby yet. I mean, it's a baby. It's not revealed yet. It's there. The mid is there. The baby is there. It's just not open yet. The question is, a baby is born, you say Mazel Tov, yeah? The baby was there for nine months already. Especially the last month. It's the food. It's the hair and the, and, the, and the nails are growing the ninth month. So the baby's all there. So all of a sudden the baby, oh, Mazel Tov. Why Mazel Tov? The baby was there already. The answer is, it wasn't revealed yet. It's still in a, in a fetal state, so to speak. So it says, when me- Seichel gives birth to Midas, it's not Yeshmiayin. The Mid was in the Seichel already. Because based on the Seichel, you are cre- it's not revealed Midas. One second. Bechines, 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 before the actual meter comes into Ava, Yira, Chesed, whatever, Ela Ba'ed and Klulim Beseichel ain't Eilis B'Shem Midas Klau. It's not at all called Midas. Ela Acha Shanel Devin Eskala Elias Midas B'Fnei Atzma. What is a Midas? Like, when is a baby a baby? When it's born. It's there. It's being created, but it's not revealed yet. And the same thing he says, V'kach B'Chin is Chach Meilog in the level of Makifim, when does Chochma become Chochma? When it becomes actual Chochma, not in the Makif state. He said, so this level of Chochma coming from Kesed is called Chochma Ma'ayin Timat. It's Yashmi'ayin. Because not Kolol there in a complete way, it's still in a such a like, oh, like we said many times. The Alter Rebbe says in Shaykh of Amuna that there's no question that the rays of the sun exist within the sun. There's no question. 
if it could shine 93 million miles away in the sun for sure it could be but over there there's no such thing as a ray over there's only the sun you don't say oh there's the sun and rays over there's only the sun when does it become rays when it leaves the sun therefore many times in Chassidus it says that on leaving the sun is similar to Yashmiyai because in the sun it really it was there but it didn't exist it was all bottle when does it become a yesh when it comes out chosma when does it become a yesh when it when it becomes chosma from keser what yeah chosma is chosma of keser so that's so we're talking about chosma stima coming to regular chosma but it's stima versus ilah it's hidden versus revelation. It's the baby in the fetal state versus baby being born. Oh, so yeah, what is the difference between stima? Huh? What is the difference between stima and ilah? Ilah means high and stima means hidden. It's awesome. So in Chachm and Keser, it's hidden. It's not an actual sphere yet. Stima it becomes... Huh? Stima. stima is hidden. Because in Keser, there is infinite, infinite everything. There is Correct. No well, even in Chochme, even in Kesser, you have two levels. When you have a crown, Leviyavosh Malchus, yeah, there is the part of the crown that's on the head. In fact, it goes into the head a little bit, right? When you want, like a hat, it goes. Away. But then there's a part of the crown which is above the head. That's Atik and right? The Kesser is the intermediate. Okay. What's the that I'm explaining over here? Mit Chochma, again, he's explaining, the, he says, I'm explaining in this mimer the advantage of mitzvahs over Seichel. So he says, Seichel is panemius, it's internal, therefore Chochma is panemius, Seichel, Teirus Chochma, say, Shakadish Baruch, but it comes in the panemius. Mitzvah on the other is the level of makif, of infinite. Therefore, infinite cannot come in a plemiistic way because if infinite comes into finite, finite doesn't exist anymore. It's all bottle. Because shekein is savis me'ayin li'ash gashmit. That even chachma is me'ayin to matzah. If you're going to count gashmit, the k'yash me'ayin, it's how much greater. Gashmis can't come from Ruchnius. In other words, you can't have like this. Ruchnius, down, 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 all of a sudden becomes Gashmius. <laughs> because <laughs> the, the smallest Ruchnius is still Ruchnius. And the highest Gashmius is still Gashmius. There's no like he says. And is sab, fish ain't been Ruchnius, the Gashmius cloud. He says, Ki mashe ben efesh habamis, nimshech b'chinius, p'ni shorish b'mekova, and efes come from nefesh. This that, you know, like the nefesh habamis comes from the short of the merkova. Birds come from the nefesh. That's nefesh habamis, hainu b'chinius, and nefesh shuruchni is v'chayis. The goof of the person doesn't come from the short of the merkova. Because one with that gash means the ruchni is. What comes from the short of the merkova? The nefesh habamis of the Jew. Don't come from Ruchnius, Ilava Olu. El Nisavis Gashmius is Meoris, Bechinus, and Sabarchu Mamisha save him Kolam. It comes in the level of infinite Alukus, Shuko Yacho, which is omnipotent. He could, so therefore Hashem can make Gashmius into Ruchnius. But by definition, Ruchnius can never create Gashmius. Right, we learn many times that any time we do a mitzvah, we are connected to the essence of Hashem. That's what Dautir is going to be explaining in this Maimur. That's the mile of mitzvahs that we get the infinite internally. But over here is rebirth. It says the no. infinite doesn't come. By definition, it can't. You do a mitzvah, you could. Why? Because the mitzvah of the mitzvah is called Yachl that can combine Ruchnis and Gashmis. Just like by Matan Teda, 
broke the decree of Ruchni and Singashvis uniting before it couldn't unite. Right? Now, why can't Ruchni and Singashvis unite? Because Or and Choshech cannot coexist. Mayim and Eish cannot coexist. Because opposites cannot coexist. Ruchnis and Gashmis cannot coexist. Correct? Now, therefore, there was a Dixayra, Ruchnis is Ruchnis, and Gashmis is Gashmis, and, you know, that's a Sholem al Yisrael. There's peace, because they have nothing to do with each other. What happened to Matan Taylor? And therefore, as Chassidus asks, you know, the whole shocking experience of Matan Taylor, what did God already say? Don't steal, don't kill, don't commit adultery. Keep Shabbat. Every, every one of the ten, top ten, every one of them, the Jews were obligated before Matan Taylor. Yeah? So you would think Matan Taylor's uh, shocker would be Beit milk, Shatnes, Paraduma, you know, all the illogical things that Mamish don't make sense. So that would be the shocker of Matan Taylor. So Siddha says, look what's going on by Matan Taylor. Gan to Kerlis of Rakim, Reynes and Ishma, all that stuff. What did he say already? Hey, don't have a desire. What does that have to do with it? So Siddha says, but that's not the accomplishment of Matan Taylor. The accomplishment of Martin Taylor was and is that now Gashmitz and Ruchnis are one. And it manifests itself in the simple mitzvahs they had to keep before also. Because now this not stealing is not separation of Ruchnis and Gashmitz, it's the unity of Ruchnis and Gashmitz. One second. So that's what happened in Martin Taylor. Correct? Because of that. Now when a Jew does a mitzvah, they can combine ruchnis and gashmias. Aye, it's impossible, he's saying. But that's only impossible when you have a ruchnis is ruchnis and gashmias is gashmias. Then they cannot coexist because they're opposites. Once you have, though, the mitzvah, who is above, let's see, let me explain here. That's the greatness of mitzvahs over Taylor. Taylor can't do it. Taita can only bring chachma, godly chachma, into your chachma. But it's not creating opposite. Let's see an insight. Thank you. Thank you. So he says like this. Shehu yizbar kol yachol, like 15 lines from the end of the page. Kacha sheikha ka'ira, v'ruchni z'vegash m'shavim l'fanav. From that level of alokus, nem sheikha ara v'am shachal yis yash v'dave b'shtal sh'seilimis, then it could come, because then it's not a steel of Ruchni and Gashmias. Yesh and Ayin don't contradict each other. Gvul and Bligvul, miracle and they don't contradict each other. Achim and Sava, Fili, Yesh, Gashmias, Chumnias, Elam, Hazar. It can come even the low level of Gashmias. Ay, how could Ruchni is create Gashmias? What's the answer? The answer is because uh, he's called Yosel. <coughs> And therefore, the ain't so baruch has saved kulam. May the mamsha chayis the kulam b'shava pchinus saved umakiv alemu mailek. Okay. Now, therefore, bri is called miyayin liyesh. Therefore, bria, especially in lashon kedesh, yeah, is kimiach hashloyim b'derech shtalshnes derech ilu va'olu because again. Bria, yesh miyayin, is not ilava olu. It's not. Yesh miyayin is, is elo, derg dilug, are ain ha'ora o melej, is mamish betech almin, elo ha'ora ba'am, of are the yesh miyayin man. Okay, this is out there again explaining the mile of mitzvahs over Taina. Mitzvahs is the level of uh, ain't sof, barakul. And therefore, the way it comes down in a premius, is not so much in a panemius, he's being mechlal. You can't come into a panemius because infinite cannot reveal itself in a panemius. Therefore, it's yesh miyayin because it's not ilovol, it's derech dilum. Yesh miyayin is a jumping thing, not a gradual ilovol thing. 
Huh? How does one mitzvah bring another mitzvah? It's very simple. Because once you do a mitzvah, you're more connected. Once you're more connected, it's easier to do something uh, connected. That's how you love That's how no. Yeah, but it's all within the ain't self, though. In the infinite, it's, so to speak, ilavol. Over there, there is no... There is, there are levels. I know, I, I didn't... Uh, somebody was asked the Rebbe before he was Rebbe yet about how could there be levels lifting at Simpson? Clearly, it's all lifting at Simpson. The Rebbe explains that could, there are levels there. What did he say? There are levels before the Simpson. Don't ask me what I mean. I have the faintest idea. Makes two of us. So he says, therefore Chazal say, Tach is Chochma. What is the ultimate level of Chochma? Tshuva Maisim Tevin. What do you mean the ultimate level of Chochma is Tshuva Maisim Tevin? Ki Chochma Bechinis Ishtalshlus Bechinis Mamalu Kolalman. Because that is the level of Mamalu Kolalman Alashin Nimnis Rishain is the first of the Mamalu Kolalman. 730 is the minute. The fact that Chochmah is called Reishis, yeah, shows if there's Rishain, there's Shaini, it's not Yochid. Okay? And therefore it says, Tachlis Chochmah, the ultimate goal of Chachma is to be Mamshach the side of Kalamin into the tru- which is Chuba Mais and Tevin. You know, the ultimate is not to remain in the Mugbal level of Chachma, the limited level of the Svira. Etam Shachot's ain't a bar, Vagam, Shane, Bechines, Gather, Kalamin. And the Eva Lochera, he does explain before that this infinite level cannot permeate finite, and it's only like a, a shine. And a nim shechala ba'ara ba'alma. In ayin mamish, mi koma kem she mi acha shorosi vam shechosi. Who earns a baruch of mamish a seviv kol almin. He says, Adeu bechin madrega yes in naila. Explain in a second. A much greater level than the level is taushes that ilo va'olo mamalo kol almin. This is very simple. Um, okay, you have the paradox in the Mishnah. In the Mishnah pick up it says, Yav Shachar the Chuva Mason Tevim Al Azar, we call Chaylam Mada. Chuva Mason Tevim, one second, one hour, and this is one turning, is it better? And then right away the Mishnah says, Yav Shachar Shokhar Shroch Baylam Abol, Yesim we call Al Azar. One hour of bliss in Ganeid is greater than Al Azar. So which one is greater? The Mishnah starts, Mamish contradicts itself, it's a paradox. First the Mishnah says, Chuva Mason Tevim Al Azar is greater than the whole Al Haba. And right away, the afterwards, the Mishnah says, one hour of bliss in all of my bus, better than all this world. Which one's better? Okay, so all the Mephosh, Chassidah says a very simple explanation. One is revelation, and one is essence. You're talking about bliss in all of my bar. What's the bliss of all of my bar? They're enjoying the Shechina, whatever that means, right? Basking in godliness. Nisham is not in the body, it's not restricted, and therefore the Nisham is able to grasp godliness on a higher level. But what is it getting? Yeah, it's revealed, but it's only a ray of the Shekhinah. It's only a ray. The advantage is, because it's only a ray, you can handle it. What's the Mishnah saying? In Olam you do Tshuva Maizim Tevim, you do Mitzvahs. You connect to the essence. What you're able to handle is only a slight, slight ha'ara that's not even coming in a panemius. It's like superficial. But on the contrary, that's because it's so great. And therefore you can't handle it. But you're getting a much greater level. And Thomas Sheikh comes to Chesam Mason, then that level will be felt internally. Because then when the essence of Hashem is revealed, which is above Gashmis and Ruchnius, therefore you can have the Ziv and the Essence at the same time. 
which is the concept of base mitzvahs, basically. The infinite level of alokos, but it's only a garment. The garment is not internalized. The garment cannot come internalized because it's too great. Okay, so therefore he says like this. But Mamali Kolam Yataki get a greater level that you internalize. But the greater level is from mitzvahs. The Mishnah doesn't say tshuva or maisim. It says maisim tevim. Right? Now, that's nas about mitzvahs. Shem ratzen ayim baruchu. That sits, it should be tamad of physical wool. Klav shil tefillin. O bohem meir ein tzavah sevim kolam begili mamish. Belishim has the parma levush. So over there, Again, because the mitzvah is what Hashem told us to do, and like he explained, Hashem is above all those things, so Hashem could eternalize the infinite. But it has to be true of a maizim tevim. You owe maizim, which is loyla havaya hema, not mitzvahs, they're not going to do that, obviously. But there is an aspect in the chsidus, that b'chod rachech chod they call Masach of Hashem Shemayim that the Achidish of her mitzvahs which is even over mitzvahs that even in eating and drinking and business all things which are not mitzvah if it's done B'chol D'rachecha Do'ehu or call Masach of Hashem Shemayim then you bring down Elokus in that level also that's what Alter Rebbe says in Tanya that if a person eats Hashem Shemayim it's ke'ayla uke carbon. It's like the person was mocking not only a carbon. Ayla uke carbon. The highest level of carbon, which is carbon ayla, kosh kadosh. So that is another chiddish. And that's why the balshamtiv shita of oziv taziv ime, instead of breaking gashmias, to elevate the gashmias, because according to what Dalt Rebbe is explaining over here, it makes a lot of sense. If you break gashmias, you don't have that infinite level of alakus in the Gashmis because you broke it. The ultimate, the Tzvachsid is accomplished. That in the Gashmis Nika world, he elevated to Kedusha. Not only mitzvahs, but even regular Gashmis. Because you can reach the essence. The essence. Because that's the only way you can combine the infinite Ruchnis and Gashmis. How can you combine, again, the infinite Ruchmias, that normally his al cannot come into Gashmir. How do you may make it come in? As the expression, so this brings down, call a mitzvah, mitzvahsim, elu atzmas. All mitzvahs are identified with atzmas. With atzmas. Taylor's advantage is, it's begilui, it's beprimius, you have it all. But mitzvahs, is not in the premise necessarily because it's too great, but the pearl, uh, it's come a higher level. Is that why Gashmir is more important than Ruchmir? One of the reasons, not really, but the, I mean, yeah, Gashmir is more important than Ruchmir, but again, because that reveals Mitsuyusi Matsumusi versus only Ain Sof. It reveals a level of Ain Lei versus Ain Lei Sof. That's the mind of Gashmi. Okay, Mashank and Shah Kol Maisel Shalei La Avaya Hema. Okay. Yeah, yeah.